Hey cuties and welcome back to Cutie Nails where everything we do here is all about nails. So cutie patooties, I'm back. I'm kind of back, not kind of back, but I'm kind of back. And I am going to do an acrylic set today. You guys know I don't talk through acrylic sets, but I'm going to attempt to do some 3D acrylic nail art with this Panna 3D brush. It's a 5.5 um, brush and I'm gonna be using my not polished products I'm gonna use this nude panther I'm also gonna use the monomer the universal tips I'm gonna use my size 12 brush I'm also going to be using um, some glitter acrylic from nailed by Naya and clear acrylic and I'm also gonna use some neon pigment powders this clear acrylic is from Nailed by Nikki and the one with the silver top I believe is double dipped but I'm also gonna be using some neon pigment powders to do the flowers because I wanted some really bright orange um, 3d flowers as you guys can tell from the thumbnail and if this is also gonna be a mini review of um, Born Pretty's it's a three-piece set it's their super shine top coat i believe their base coat in their matte top coat Now guys, let's talk about this brush, y'all. I absolutely enjoyed working with this brush. I don't know, some people always say start off with a smaller brush, but I had no issue with this brush once I broke it in and started using it. I really, really love the fact of having a smaller, a bigger brush to use. It's a size 12 and I got it from Not Polish. Now this is a three piece set. Uh, from Born Pretty that was sent over to me and um, I'll kind of talk through it a little bit as I'm using it but this is the base coat this is the matte top coat and this is the super top coat um, it all of these bottles the consistency was very thin so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly shape up these nails and then we're gonna get straight into using the base coat and I'm gonna tell you guys what I thought of it So again, all of these bottles, the consistency was very thin. Um, so I just went in with a super, a super thin layer. I'm just pretty much dragging it on there because there really isn't much on the brush. And then after curing it for 60 seconds, I noticed it was a semi tacky layer. It wasn't super tacky um, at the end. So um, if you're gonna try to adhere your glitters with this, you're probably not gonna <laughs> do well with it so try to use something that's gonna hold the glitters um, I don't recommend adhering any glitters with this before encapsulating if that's what you you're gonna try to do with this because it's not as tacky as you know I would like for it to be if I wanted to adhere any glitters to encapsulate I'm just gonna swatch these out really quickly I was just playing around with the um, the 3d brush and just breaking that in and this is just a mixture of my neon pigment powder that you guys saw and that clear acrylic in order to create this particular um, orange acrylic mix so yeah I've seen people mix powders and and stuff like that together to make particular colors but this is the nude panther from not polish and last is that glitter um, mix I can't remember the name of it from nailed by Naya and I'm just gonna do a quick small little swatching and then we're gonna get right into this video So 
So in my journey of learning acrylic, you guys, um, when I initially started, my brush was still pretty wet and the acrylic would just run down the nail. I didn't like that. Um, I'm now starting to, after picking up the bead, just drying off some of the excess liquid just a bit. And I like the fact that I'm able to mold the acrylic after doing that almost as though it's poly gel. See, I didn't damp, I didn't dry off the brush here and the acrylic is just running, running, running. So I use, um, I waste less acrylic when I dry off the brush just a bit. And I'm not gonna keep talking through acrylic because I'm still learning and I'm gonna let you guys watch this process. But the infamous I thought I was recording and was not recording happened to me and you guys will get to see that shortly. If you've made it this far, cuties, thank you so much for joining me. I would like for you to comment below. Ta let's talk about this process. I am a beginner. I am learning. And you guys see, I thought I was recording and I was not recording. So I missed all of that. And I'm absolutely sorry that I was not recording because I really felt like I did a good job on this application but I would also like that if you're new that you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you turn your notifications on to all because I post every Tuesday and sometimes on Fridays and I would love to hear from you guys in the comments
because I'm a beginner at acrylic or it was just the pigment powder mix but I don't recommend using pigment powder in acrylic in order to um, make colored acrylic. Um, I may be wrong. Like I said, I'm not and cuties and thank you thank you thank you so much you guys for your continued love and support of this channel Thank you. 